the same scenes, decades apart. Protests, fury, anger, hurt spilling out across America and around the world. The cause, racism, police brutality, inequality. George Floyd was a 46-year-old father who was stopped by police in Minneapolis on the 25th of May. Suspected of using fake money to pay for cigarettes. A white police officer was seen kneeling on Mr. Floyd's neck as he was pinned to the ground. He repeatedly cried, I can't breathe. He was held down for eight minutes and 46 seconds. After six minutes, he stopped moving. George Floyd's death has echoes of many others. Trayvon Martin was shot and killed by a man in Sanford, Florida, as he walked alone one evening. George Zimmerman was eventually charged but found not guilty. The acquittal led to public outrage and the beginning of the Black Lives Matter movement. 18-year-old Michael Brown was fatally shot by police in Ferguson. Eric Garner was choked by a police officer. His dying words were, I can't breathe. And there are more. America has a long, painful history of racism and segregation. Until the 60s, African Americans were made to live separately from white people and didn't have the right to vote. Nowadays, policing in America varies from state to state. In North Carolina, it takes just 16 weeks to become a police officer, half the time it takes to become a licensed barber in the state. Racism and inadequate training in a country awash with guns are a toxic mix. But in America now, the fight for justice, liberty and equality has spread across the world and has become everyone's.